Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Um, yeah, first off, I'm just gonna show you the consistency of this permanent violet. Um, the video is sped up a little bit, and just so you know, I will be doing a mixing video eventually, probably when the studio gets finished and we finally started working on it again. So, oh my gosh, I'm super excited. Anywho, this is kind of interesting. This is a This Little Pigment, and it looks so light here but it dries dark and beautiful and it's amazing. Um, and right there were my colors and I will actually be putting them in the description box below. So first off, this is Sangria. This is this little pigment, you guys. I mean, in the cup versus dried is so different. It's amazing. So this is going to be indigo. Next, here's my Vallejo um, Pearl Cloud Mix. A little bit more of that in there. This is going to be the, um, the Permanent Violet. This is Zeus. This next color is gonna be Zeus by this little pigment. Okay, I think I might have a new favorite pigment. I love bronze and that thing is gorgeous. Next, this is like a fluo fluorescent violet kind of custom mix. There's some more cloud mix. I don't know what I'm doing right here. Sorry for the delay. We're gonna go back to the indigo. And here is the Zeus by this little pigment again. <laughs> that would be my dog if you hear the growling she always growls when i'm trying to record it's so strange so yeah this is a straight cloud pour um and i actually painted this before we left on our uh, little vacation we really needed to get out of deep the deep south the hot southern louisiana weather and we ended up going to the mountains so it was cool and crisp and the leaves were beautiful and i love the smell of of the earth so uh i was hoping to get this up before i left but um it didn't happen so i didn't want to rush it so um sorry about the lack of posts but yeah so here's a pour out on this and um you know, I had to keep reminding myself that that sangria, if anyone has the sangria pigment by this little piggy in the jar, it is deep and dark and like this beautiful raspberry sangria color. But you know, in my um, pouring medium, my, my pigment pouring medium, it makes them look more pastel. Now, when I mixed that pigment up, um, I saw this kind of pastel look and then I tested it because I've had this happen before and it was fine, but it was really drastic. When um, I kind of tested it and did a little swatch of the pigment, it dried perfect and dark and beautiful. So that's what's kind of trippy about this. These kind of light, you know, dusty pink areas dry the beautiful deep sangria color. So anyway, I'm gonna shut up. I pull it, I poured out this cup and I really liked the cloud formations, but I knew I had to stretch quite a bit and I was gonna leave a little bit more negative space. So um, you'll kind of see what my clouding does. And uh, I do, I did put um, translucent or semi-translucent colors next to the cloud. And when you do that, that cloud will will kind of tint with those colors. If that, oh my God, I don't know if that makes sense. But your clouding will kind of pull that color and not be, you know, the stark, fluffy white. They'll definitely have more of a translucent colored vibe. So anyway, I'm going to be tilting this a lot. Um, and... Uh, just stay tuned to the end because the end I'm going to give you wet 
stills of it, the stills of it wet. And then I'm gonna give you a dried video and then stills of it dried. So you can see the difference in the color. Um, yeah, all right, hang in there guys. Be back soon, thanks. Hey guys, welcome back. If you hung in with me through all the tilting and the spinning and me trying to figure out what the heck I was gonna do with this piece, thanks so much. <laughs> right now, obviously, I'm just kind of doing the last bits of futzing with this thing. You know, I, I love the dark corners. I wanted there to be dark corners, um, but I kind of struggled with pushing more paint off because the more I spun this, the more the clouding starts to stretch and it really starts to pick up that translucent color that was layered, okay? Um, that's what's gonna happen if you layer translucent or semi-translucent, transparent, beside the clouding, it, it will make the clouds even more transparent, if that makes sense, translucent. So um, there's things I love about this piece and uh, there were things that I was like, you know what, maybe I should just pour over it, but I was like, no. No, no, no. I know that that sangria in the center is going to dry so dark and raspberry colored. I'm so excited about that. And I loved that halo of um, Zeus. I really didn't want to get rid of any more of that. So this piece has a lot going on and I let my paint sit for like four days and I still had air bubbles. So I think it's because the temperature dropped here and they were in my office and it was a little chilly in there. So, you know, if you want those cloud pours without all the little, you know, measle kind of things popping up, just let them sit, let them sit, sit, sit. So I didn't get an up close video of this. I don't know what happened. I accidentally deleted it, but here is an up close still. This is while it's wet. This is also while it's wet. And then here comes the video of it dry. Look at that center. That sangria in the center, I was so happy with it. I was like, oh, look at this like raspberry, you know, center. You know, it, it, I was so looking forward to that. And then the halo of Zeus, that bronzy gold. I can't, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to varnish this. Um, and as you can see, my clouding, it got a little more translucent than I would have liked. Um, I wish it would have stayed a little whiter, but that is totally how I layered my paints. Um, so yeah, but there it is dry, super happy. Here it is outside in the sunlight um, against my studio. And then this is another picture outside with indirect light. And uh, so yeah, you guys, let me know what you think of this. Please like, share, and subscribe, and um, thanks again for hanging out. Bye.